Howdy everyone, today I have my sister-in-law here with me and we decided that we're going to do a craft. Yes, she's hiding here with me. And uh, what I had here was some popsicle sticks. I had some uh, larger, kind of a tongue depressor, tongue depressor size popsicle sticks. And then of course I had the regular thin popsicle sticks, these little wooden ones. Uh, then I had these uh, little three-quarter inch wooden balls, these little tiny little clothespins. Now I had these in different colors and I also had them in, in just wood tone. I have these cute little silver rings. And what I'm going to do with this is I decided that I'm going to make some little angels like that. See? Okay, so what I have to do is I have to half all of these. Cut up the large popsicle sticks and the little popsicle sticks. Now the large popsicle sticks I believe are, I don't have my measuring tape here, but I believe they were about six, six inches long. So then you would cut them at three inches. And these were, I think four and a half. So then you cut them at two and a quarter inch. And I have uh, these big giant wire cutters that I use or big heavy duty scissors. And you can just cut them up with that. And it's really easy. And I'll show you in a little bit how easy it is. So then I decided to shape these into a, like a little dress. And then I put two of these halves for the legs. And then I cut these a little shorter right here. And this is about an inch and a half. Those are going to be my arms. And then these little leftover pieces, I went ahead and saved them because I actually used that in the back here so that I could then put the little ball that was going to be the little head. And as you can see, the little silver uh, wedding bands, little plastic bands that I had, now became the halo. And then the little clothespin right up in the front because what I want to do is I want to be able to open this and put a little note on there. Now, I could put a little wire, a little string, and then hang them somewhere and not put the clothespin at all and maybe use them for a, as a Christmas ornament and just paint them accordingly or use uh, little scrap pieces of fabric like I have here. And I may use some of this. I have another bag where I have some Christmas uh, fabrics that I can also use if I decide to use Christmassy. And I will show you as we go along what, we're, what we decided to do with these. But I thought that if I was going to do it like this and make it a little note holder, that I would add a magnet to the back. So I got a package here of some really good magnets. These are from Hobby Lobby. It's a ceramic magnets on it. It's a package of 50 and it was $8 and I used my 40% off coupon on them. And so that was a good deal at Hobby Lobby because it's a bunch in here. And I've got about 18 of these little balls all together, so we may make 18 of these. We may not. I don't know how many we're going to make. So I need some wings for my angel. And I went to the Dollar Tree, and I found these cute little flakes. And I thought, well, I could cut these somehow and put them on the back of the angel. And they would make cute little wings. I also found it at the Dollar Tree, this pretty ribbon and there's nine feet of ribbon it's a mesh ribbon but look how pretty it is it's really soft so I could actually fold this like a bow and then create wings so like if I was going to fold them like a bow and then scrunch them up in the middle that's not a very good uh, interpretation of what I would do but I will show you later that, that could make wings and while I was at Hobby Lobby and the middle in the miniature uh, Christmas tree decorations, I found this little garland. You can see it's got like little pearl uh, beads on there, and it's got the little uh, there we go, a little snowflake on there. And I thought, oh, I can cut those little snowflakes out. Maybe put them in her in a little angel's hands. Maybe decorate the little dress somehow with them. I have a whole bunch of other stuff in my craft uh, drawer that I can use. But this is just an idea of the things that you could use. I also have this cute little string of uh, Christmas lights, little plastic, they're not real lights, 
They're just little decorative lights and the little mini ones. I could also cut these up and put them in her hand or maybe string them along. Now they're kind of separated here, so I might want to use, um, might want to take them off the string and then use a short bit of the string to put it on here and then maybe glue three of those little light bulbs on each one of the angels that I choose to do that with. Like I said, I have other things in my craft box, and uh, if you have a collection of things, maybe some buttons to decorate this with. I could either paint them, or use fabric, or use buttons, or maybe a combination of everything. But I'll show you as I go along. Okay, these are the tool, the two tools that I have. I have these uh, really big uh, wire cutters, and that snips right through this little popsicle really easily. I also have these heavy duty old scissors that I have, but I've had them forever and they're very good. And that does a great job of actually cutting right through that. So I can either use the scissors or I can use these wire cutters. So this just gives you an idea of what you can use. Or if um, you have a little saw, a little tiny uh, saw, then cut them up with that. Just be very careful. Use something that you are familiar with and uh, use that but I'm going to use that no electricity I'm gonna get my hot glue gun ready I'm gonna take out some paints and we're gonna get going on creating a bunch of these inside either painting them or putting fabric on them or both and then we're, we're gonna add the clothespin at the end we're not gonna add that uh, while we're you know before we decorate it that'll be at the end and then of course we'll add a a magnet at the back and these can be hung on the refrigerator Put a cute little note on it wish somebody an awesome day and give these away as little gifts maybe lots of little things you could do with these all right so here's all the pieces i have uh three halves of the larger uh tongue depressor popsicle stick and then i have two halves of the smaller popsicle sticks and then the other one i cut off these uh bits from these are going to be my little arms and I'm going to use one for a neck and that's it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one here uh, put some glue just like that and then I'm going to put the other one overlapping it and this part doesn't matter on the top what matters is that when you're looking at it is for this to kind of be the same length so that's what you want and open it up a little bit at the bottom and then a little bit more glue just a dot Worry about the little strings after. And then top it off with this last one. And then just see that they're kind of sort of at the same length. Just like that. And then you're going to turn that over. And a little bit of glue there. A little bit of glue there. That's all going to dry, so don't worry about that. And then one little leg coming out the bottom oops oops let me turn that around because I got glue on the back of it okay and then that and then you can turn it around while it's still kind of wet and then look at it and make sure that they're kind of the same sticking out at the bottom at about the same length and I kind of messed it up a little bit because I'm using one end only here so I'm going to open that up a little bit there we go. Push it down a little bit. Open it. And there we go. Okay, now in the back, again. And you can remove all these little strings of glue. So don't worry about them for now. We're going to add our little arms. And this is a little neck where the, um, the little ball is going to rest. So you want to put another dot of glue at the very top here your little neck is going to stick out at the top a little bit where the ball little head is going to rest on dot of glue on this side for one of the arms and then a dot of glue on the other side and this is where you might have to trim your second little arm but I've already done that because I kind of figured it out already might have to trim your second arm a little bit less because it's going just almost under the other one just a little bit and you turn them around turn them around so you can adjust your little arms so that they're both sticking out about the same there 
and that's it okay so at the very top that little bit there that's where I'm going to put the little ball for the head so ah, the drop of glue sorry that's glue burning someone else okay so there we go a drop of glue and my little ball for the head and that forms the uh, the wood parts of my little angel. Now I'm going to remove all these little strings of uh, glue off and then I'm going to decide whether I'm going to paint it or use fabric or both and then I'm going to add a little halo and all the rest of the little decorations and I'll show you how that comes out. Okay so here I've got one little angel that I have finished and I decided to paint her dress part and I left the the little legs and the arms and the little uh, ball and their wood color because I felt that was close to skin color. As you can see I painted a little hair and a cute little face and these uh, snowflakes that I got I cut them in half and that's what I put in the back so it's just sort of her little her little wings. I know there's three but I thought it looked pretty with a little ring as her halo and then the little Christmas lights going across her and on here I can now put a little put a little note and of course the magnet on the back so she will stick onto the refrigerator or anything metal let me go ahead and paint one here so you can see the steps that I went through so I took a uh, flat brush like that just a uh, flat brush a small flat brush and you'll choose the color that you want to paint and I'm going to go ahead and choose a pretty blue here this is a uh, tropical blue from Apple Barrel and it's it's a gloss paint but you can use whatever whatever you want to use and of course just paint the body of what would be the dress And just don't put it on too thick, that way it'll dry faster. Okay. And this just takes a few minutes to sort of kind of get dry. But I can go ahead and hold her from down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint some hair on her. Clean up my brush, the same flat brush that I was already using. Clean off the blue paint. And I can either choose black or brown. I already did one with brown hair, so this one I'm going to do with, with black. And you can paint it however you like, but what I did is I started at the bottom here, worked my way up to the middle, and then on the other side, like that. Just across like that the back. And remember start flat on one side and then work up and then flat on the other side and work up. That way you get a like a little bob, like a little straight hair haircut there. Little bob on her. And just down like that. And it's okay if you get like little wispies in the front there because that'll just look like her little hair is kind of like wisping around. And then what I'm going to do now is in, in the front and her forehead I am going to take my brush and kind of go across and down just to meet up with the other part. That's her little her little bangs going across. Now for her eyes, I take this uh, thin liner brush and I'm just going to use black. I'm not going to make anything too extravagant. And I'm just going to make two little lines, one that way and one this way and just make two little lines and then we just want to do is just adjust them make sure they're both the same length mine is one's a little longer than the other so I'm just going to adjust them here we go two little eyes there she's got her eyes closed so those are her little lash lines and for li her lips a shorter little line like that and then you could make them little cupy lips if you want 
or just make one little long smile. It doesn't matter. And there she is. Isn't she pretty? Okay. Now we're going to glue the wings to the back up here. That's what I did is I, with a pretty side facing forward. Glue that to the back and then decorate her in any way I want. As you can see on this one, her little red dress, I did like little yellow X's on the red just to decorate and make it look like a fabric. What I'm going to do on this one is uh, I'm going to use uh, some orange just for the heck of it. Just so I'm using a different color. Sorry. And I'm going to use a uh, the smallest brush I have. So I'm going to use the bottom tip of that of that and pick up paint on the tip and just do little dots here and there. Just like that. And just do as many little dots as you want. Keep adding paint to the tip of that brush. And just fill it up. Maybe make them a little bit better than what I'm doing. Just doing it fast so you can see this. Some dots are a little bit bigger than the others. Okay, here we go. See, isn't she pretty? She's got a little dotted little dress. And you could do this any way you want. You could do it uh, Christmassy tones if you wish or just leave her like that and I think uh, some of these I'll leave them like that so they can have them all year round so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off with some uh, let this, I'm going to let this dry at her halo and her her little um, snowflake wing and then I'm going to add some of the little decorations to it alright and here we go she's finished I even painted at the bottom to her little shoes and she's holding two little snowflakes in her hand Got a little halo and her little wings and her little clothespin here to hold a little note. So here I've got two that I painted. Both have little shoes on. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this little tutorial and I hope you get to make it. Also, it's a fun little project with kids. Let them get their little fingers all full of paint and paint them any way they want just for the fun of it. It'll be a cute little project. Also you can do these as little gifts for someone. Maybe as as uh, on top of the um, gift wrapping put a little string on it so that you can then tape it down to, on top of a gift and on here you can put a little note that says to and from. Use, use it as your little tag so they'll get like a little extra gift with their gift. These are great for a little gift for teachers, maybe your co-workers, maybe take them to someone in the hospital, to nursing care, if they have a place where they can hang this, because remember it does have a little magnet. But you can also, instead of using a little magnet, add a little string or a little ribbon and they can hang it somewhere instead. So it all just depends. So if you have any ideas of what you could do different, I decided not to use any fabric, I decided that I liked the way they looked painted. Maybe the next video I'll do some with a little uh, fabric dresses, but um, I'm going to change it up because I don't need to then use three popsicle sticks because these three popsicle stick pieces form a dress. So why do all this work and then hide it with some fabric? So I'll do a different one just using the, the one stick for, uh, as my base for the body. And there you go. Have any ideas? Share them in the comments below. Please like my video and please subscribe and follow. Thank you and enjoy.